forex trading live trade chart analysis and welcome to another video so in this video it's going to be a bit um sp i would say it's a special one and something which we as a forex traders in this industry or we as a traders who are doing prop firms should be aware of so that is the current situation which my forex fund is going through so we're going to talk about that today i just want to give you guys a heads up and what is the updates which is happening in the industry we're going to talk about that what can we expect in the future this also i will share this is completely my opinion and my my thoughts then what can we expect in the future for um for the problems right so will i recommend traders to trade any prop firms or any companies i will share also towards the end and also which companies i trust at this point of time all of this information will be shared in this today's video so without further delay let's jump right into our today's content so my forex fund is going through some regulations if you don't know what is it or what happened to them so first thing is if you go to my forex fund website right now this is the message that you're going to get you will not be able to operate or you will not be able to open their website and seize things because it's already seized their operations is seized at the moment so this is the message traders yesterday we learned that without prior notice or a discussion a provincial securities regulator in canada and the commodities regulator in the united states issued orders preventing us from trading securities or accessing funds in our bank accounts until these freeze orders are lifted or modified our business is effectively at least temporarily frozen as well we will bring reach out to the regulators to discuss their concerns and the first court date to determine whether the freeze order should be lifted or modified is currently scheduled for september 11 in the us and another hearing later that same week in canada we hope to see this matter resolved as soon as possible and will update this message as even occurs so this is the message given by my forex fund to all the traders at this point of time but one thing you guys need to understand is before i make any comments about my forex funds one th one thing you should know is i will just show you what is the relation with me and my forex fund so definitely i'm a trader as a trader i trade at profums i'm not a person who is coming over and just doing one profum challenge and just talking about it i did some profum challenge just before with my forex fund so i have a say in something which i'm going to share with you guys so that is why i'm just showing you guys opening my mail account over here to show you guys all the mails i have received from my forex fund so i've been with them from march 6 of this current year 2023 all the way till june 2023 this is where i i breached my 50k account uh both the 50k account i lost both the 50k account which you can see i passed phase 2 in one of the accounts sorry i passed phase 1 uh congratulations you passed phase 1 welcome to phase 2 hard breach detected so total of which i shared recently regarding one of the comments uh, i mean i know I, i joke in twitter okay I don't take it very seriously Uh, so i mean there is a comment saying that slip them to hell so i put like okay you really slip me to hell three times because i already created an account with them i think uh, i did a 10k account in the uh, in the early stage then i did a 20k account then 250k account so all of this it's uh, the the mails and everything uh, reply from there and one thing you guys need to understand before i talk anything about my forex fund is this company as you can see over here My forex fund has announced an impressive milestone by paying out 109 million to its traders. So this is a company which have been here for some time and the amount they pay out to the traders is I would say the second in the industry after FTMO, right? So this is the second best or the biggest prop firm in the industry. It's not just a random prop firm who just uh, uh, got regulated. Okay, my forex fund is one of the leading uh, prop prop firm company at this particular space if you have been trading here you definitely know my forex fund and they have been paying out to traders as well you can see 109 million but what happened even though this is this is all good the everything about the my forex fund is good then what happened what suddenly happened so i'll share with you guys a tweet you can listen to this conversation by the ceo as well this is what they posted on september 1st september 1st they posted something like this over here and this is their ceo itself he is the one who is going to he'll be sharing something okay so which is uh, the same thing the the i mean you can watch this video you can go to the twitter and you can just uh, watch this video uh, then whatever he is sharing is exactly the words which he meant which is mentioned over here right so this is what he is sharing at the, uh, in this video over here 
So you can watch that it is the same words, exact same words is what he's saying. So you can watch that it's a CEO, Kazmir is the guy who uh, who is behind like my forex fund, whatever the scam or whatever is happening, is uh, he's the guy. Yeah, so let's go to what happened at the my forex fund or what is the thing. So the message I shared with you guys earlier, they were stopped by who? Two authorities, right? Uh, provincial securities regulator in Canada and the commodities regulator in the US. So commodities regulator in US. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC. This is the Commodities Trading uh, Commission in US is the one who sees their operation. So which you can see over here, you can go to CFTC, my Forex one, then you'll see from their official website, this is their official website, you will see this entire thing over there, where, which you can read on as well. So in this, it is, it is mentioned clearly what what is the thing or what is the thing which they did as a fraud right this is why they they um traders global group which is basically the my forex one right but the legal name is i think is traders global group because when you take a, if you take an ever an account from them you know that the broker you're connecting to is traders global group it's not my forex one or it's not any other brokers it will show as traders global group you're connecting to that broker for you to trade or I mean I don't know if it's a broker or what simulator um, uh, trading which I will discuss later so uh, companies which you can see the commodity uh, the, whatever they mentioned against uh, Murtuza Kazmi is the CEO of Traders Global Group Inc which is called as my forex ones so what is the thing which they said is the thing which they case against my forex ones which is mentioned over here is Okay, so what he did or what the MyForex fund did is what they are saying is over here. CFTC's case against MyForex is uh, emblematic of our commitment to stamping out retail fraud in our market, said the Director of Enforcement, which is Ian McKinley. Anyone offering entry into leveraged retail forex contracts without registrations or offering or entry into leveraged retail commodity contracts exchange is active in clear violation of law. So this is one of the breach which they have done but the main case is just over here. Case background. So what is the case background? This is what you need to understand. According to the complaint, the defendants doing business as my forex one supposedly offer retail customers the opportunity to become professional traders by using their traders global money to trade against a third party liquidity providers and share in any trading profits so what does this means this means that this is what my forex fund is offering right if you watch their advertisement if you go to their website before right now you'll not be able to access it but if you've ever seen the advertisement you know they are saying that they are the proprietary trading company where they will give you their funds to trade where you will be trading with those funds in a third party liquidity provider when i say a third party liquidity provider means a third party broker will be the one who will be executing those trades I mean you will be taking the trades then whatever is the profit that you're getting you will share 80 20 you 80 percentage of the profit we the as a trader will keep and 20 percentage the company will uh, take and if you uh, become consistent you can scale up to 90 percentage profit split 10 percent of the company will keep this is what they say right in the advertisement and everything that this is their business model but um, that's not the reality they assume they assure the consumers that your success is our business. We only make money when you do. But in reality, Traders Global Group, not a third party liquidity provider, is actually uh, substantially all customer trades. What does this mean is you are not trading again, you are not trading with the broker, you are trading with the MyForex fund itself. That means the MyForex fund is the one which is let's say the Traders Global Group is the one is the liquidity provider as well. So what they're literally doing is they are the one who is placing the orders. When you place the order, they are the one who decides which the products needs to match. So that's why the slippage is so high. And this was a lot of complaints from other traders saying that the slippage is there, slippage is high and whatsoever with my Forex fund. And uh, end of the day, it, it, I think it, is, uh, it was true, which we can see as well. The complaint also alleges that the trader global actively minimized the likelihood that the customer trade profitable by using pretext to terminate customer accounts so if you recall some of the vietnamese uh, trader faced this issue which whereby they were saying that the customer uh, trades using uh, uh, different ip address and whatsoever they banned a whole vietnam country before i hope uh, you guys remember about this incident misleadingly accessing commissions that reduce customer account equity secretly using their specialized software to cause consumer orders to execute at worst prices 
then appear to custom custom at the time of order was sent that means when you in you in your chart you will see okay the slip page is like this you will see the spread of maybe euro usds like one or two but in reality it's not that because they are the counterparty you're trading against them actually because their intention of business model is for you to not make money because if you make money they're going to lose money right so definitely uh, that uh, the main issue over here is uh, the conflict of interest itself the conflict of interest of this particular company let's say my forex fund is directly if they want to make money it is the only way the traders you need to lose money they came to that 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 is the that is a sad part which we see over here at this point of time they are not giving you their funds to trade rather what they are doing is they are trading against basically they are trading against you they want you to lose more money that's what it means so at, as the company noted the traders um, uh, global pitch has been successful and more than 135,000 customers have signed up for the trading program including me so I am one among that 135,000 trading one since November 2021 paying at least 310 million in fees wow 300 million so as you can see over here they they earned about 310 millions in just the uh, fees and whatsoever and they pay out to traders is 109 100 was it 109 million so about whooping 200 million in profit in the last two uh, two years i would say that's crazy a lot of money right the complaint alice kazmi which is the ceo used proceeds from fraud purchase luxury homes automobiles makes sense of millions of dollars in transfers to his personal accounts as well he bought a lot of property he bought a lot of uh, cars he even have a bugatti he I mean Bugatti is like a million dollar car okay guys you need to understand and there is other cars which is like 4 million or 3 million so he literally spent a lot of money on car Lamborghini Aventador 1.4 billion he he spent a lot of money on the cars as well which you can see as well uh, I mean all these things is already on Twitter I'm not going to talk much about that that part but end of the day what what is uh, sad to see is uh, uh, not a new company it's uh, really uh, one of the we used to say like it's one of the best companies out there in the profiles but it's quite sad to see that um, they were they were trading against the traders yeah so this is the situation which is happening in US and Canada so they got seized so they had to cease their operation because this company is based in US and Canada so what can we expect right so what can we expect Moving forward, what I will see is all the companies who is based in US as well as Canada, all the prof firms, they're going to have a hard time. When I say they're going to have a hard time is they're going to, they're going to go through the same kind of regulations. They will be also having the cease, ceasing order. You can, they can have the same kind of a situation where they're going to go through. But some of the prof firms, like let's say, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it right now. That's the whole point of this video, right? So let's say uh, the funder trader or any other problems that you're trading currently i'm trading with the funder trader right i have three accounts running currently i have three accounts i i already i think i lose only one account for them uh, one of the accounts is uh, i mean you know already my night challenge which was uh, uh i lost it recently the past month but apart from that i have three accounts which is running in my my forex uh, sorry the funder trader which is a 10k account one is a 100k account one is a 50k account so i'm trading with these three accounts in the funder trader right now so I want you guys to know, whenever I, got, I tell you guys something, okay, join Funder Trader and whatsoever, I, I know I do the same thing. I'm not telling you something, I'm doing something else, no. I also put my money inside this thing and I'm also trying to do uh, whatever I'm telling you guys to do as well, right? I'm trying to uh, get funded with the pro firms. So I'll see, I'll show you guys, I'll go to the Funder Trader and share with you guys what is the changes which I saw after September 1st. So this is the Funder Trader website where you can see over here as well everything everything in the website they change the words which you can see the funded kingdom unlock up to 600k in demo accounts to earn virtual profit and hone your trading skills it was not like this before now they change everything into virtual profits uh they put as demo accounts stimulate uh, like what simulated profits and whatsoever i will show you everything uh 1.5 million in virtual funds okay this is also another change big change which you can see and everywhere where you see in an account you can see is simulated trading period Sim, uh, simulated trading days virtual profit target virtually daily loss so these things i mean i'm 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 happy they're trying to do something okay i'm really happy that they're trying to do something to get out of this situation but how do i say i think it's it's still a risk 
for me, it's a risk. If they change all those wordings, that means they are also scared that the commodities is gonna come after them. Okay, that's what I think. That's what I, that's my opinion. I think they are ready. They are trying to get ready. They are trying to get prepared for their hearing. That's what I'm seeing right now. Even their terms and conditions when I read through it is changed as well. So what I can say at this point of time is try not to buy any challenges from even from the funded trader. <laughs> That's what I want to tell you guys. I know that I, I've been sharing with you guys to do this and whatsoever, but current situation is looks a bit scary in US as well as in Canada. So I don't you know I don't want you guys to go through that loss. So this is something that I want to share with you guys. I I don't want to this kind of things to happen to you guys. So please uh, stop uh, buying accounts from any companies which is reg which is uh, registered in let's say US or Canada at this point of time okay only look for companies which are maybe not from here so how can you find out this there is few ways you can look at it one is you can check for their terms and conditions or they can you can look for their I don't know if you can contact us but in terms and conditions you go all the way below it will be Returns where is this company from where is this you see over here is their headquarters which is uh, in Texas this one is in Texas so this is something that you can check either like this or you can go to the terms and conditions when you purchase a contract you scroll all the way down you will see if something this is something that you can buy or this is something that you cannot buy so basically this is something that I want to share with you guys uh, on the funder trader and as well as a lot of other companies as well they changed the name to simulator virtual profit and everything this they're trying but i think all the companies in the us is gonna go uh, through the same procedure which my forex fund is going through maybe they are not going to have this that bad i believe so why because i believe they have they were trading with other brokers their liquidity providers are not their them they have brokers which is let's say eight cap thing markets these are the brokers partners who place the orders and we are trading in their platform in a demo account right we are trading with their the these we are connecting this broker's account of a cap or thing markets when we purchase an uh, purchase an account with the funder trader so we are not trading with the funder trader itself which is i think is something um i think <laughs> it is something which they can defend on or something which i see as a potential for my forex uh, sorry the funder trader to survive so let's see how it goes but I'll be careful. I'll not be buying any challenges from the funder trader. I have three challenges open. I'll try to trade that. If they are gonna go under, it is what it is. Yeah. So what I'll recommend to the traders, same thing which I shared earlier. Try not to buy any challenges, guys. Just don't buy any challenges at the point of time with any of those companies with US. You can buy with the companies which is having an offshore funding. Let's say funded engineer. I know that the company based in uh, UAE, United Arab Emirates, which is in Dubai as well. So I. Feel like this should be okay um the re it is far from the regulators in us so they shouldn't be having any problem this is what i feel uh funded engineer is one of the new companies where you can get some good trades on in the accounts and whatsoever but we like to see well, like how it goes then um ftmo i know it's expensive i know this company is uh, the the it must be hundred dollar more than the normal accounts that you buy from let's say all the other companies but this this is the only company at this point of time who didn't even change their website who didn't even care about what is happening with my forex fund and they've been here for more than nine years and when i check through their website i read through their terms and conditions legals and whatsoever everything i did and what i could see is it's completely about trading that is the only company which really stated that they are a prop trading firm and they stated the amount in which you can trade what does this equivalent to and we are they are they are very concentrated on how you trade these accounts so it is really focused more on the they they want to protect their capital which is the fund and they want to you guys to trade so it's like really a prop trading or proprietary trading model so that's the only company when I, I mean I was yesterday I was reading through a lot of companies in terms of use and everything and I could see that majority of the companies is same following the funder trader like simulator and whatsoever they're making the changes names and whatsoever but I think they're gonna they're gonna get soon they are the next uh, companies which is going to have this kind of same situation and they let you answer the authorities on what they were doing before 
so the company I recommend at this point of time this one is FTMO I have no affiliates or anything with them I have no affiliate code or whatsoever that's not the whole point only thing is uh, I want to share is uh, don't put your money or don't put try to buy challenges from I know that they're gonna come a lot of prop firms right now is gonna take the share of my forex one because my forex one was a big company so all of their accounts is gone right now think about that 135,000 traders who lose their account or don't have an account right now or don't have a prop firm to trade right now they're gonna buy challenges soon I know maybe one of you you might be one of you, one of them as well but don't buy from any companies which is uh, which is having their um, uh, registered in US or Canada best will be offshore when I say offshore it can be in I don't know um, any any other countries outside US or Canada I mean for the time being I don't know if it's gonna get to them or what but first thing I believe is this regulatory is gonna work with US first they're gonna clear the house or home first before they go out to the other countries or other companies so first thing is what we can do right now is only thing I can share is don't buy any um, anything from the final trader or any other companies uh, who is from the US they are gonna offer you a lot of things don't just don't and if you want quality and if you're willing to pay more FTMO FTMO is the place you go to FTMO you buy their challenges I know it's not sexy their offers nothing is there but that's professional you just buy you just trade and try to pass anyways they have no minimum trading days now so it's a good thing as well yeah so that's it guys that's all i want to share with you guys so for this particular video so today there will be more videos which is definitely one is going to be about the we're going to talk about our new trading strategy that we are going to follow for the next upcoming month because i'm going to trade with my 50k account with that particular strategy my 100k i'm going to hold it right now i'm not going to do any anything over there because it's in a huge rollout i don't want to risk it i'm going to keep it there I'm gonna trade with my 50k once I gonna pass the phase one when I build the confidence I'm gonna go back to that uh, 100k I'm gonna trade in the same way so the strategy video will be out soon as well along with our weekly trade analysis video so I hope you guys are having a good weekend I wish you guys all the best I'll see you guys in the next one until then trade safe